Hey everyone, it's New Year's Eve 2017. I haven't made uh, an update video or been really too active in a while, so I thought I'd go ahead and kind of give a quick 2017 recap slash 2018 plans and update. So I'll start with uh, 2017 recap. The year went pretty well. Uh, the big competitions over the year were obviously US Nationals and World Championships. I also competed a ton during the spring. Results there were pretty mediocre, I guess. I was practicing a lot, kind of trying out new stuff, so wasn't too much of a surprise. Nationals was the first big competition in July. I did pretty well. I won 6x6 and 7x7 for the 6th and 7th times respectively. I got 2nd to max in 5x5, which I guess was a big surprise if you had asked me if you'd asked me in January if Max was going to win. I definitely would have said no, but he, he just improved so fast and by the time Nationals rolled around, he was doing so well that at the competition I wasn't too surprised that he won. Um, I'd also won the fi past five years in a row, so it was cool to see someone work so hard and um, kind of take the title. Worlds was obviously the biggest competition of the year the next week in Paris. I did really well there. That was my main goal for the entire year was to win 6x6 for the third time in a row, and that's what I did. Um, I'd won in 2013 in Vegas, 2015 in Brazil, and then this year in 2017 in Paris, I got first again. So that pretty much made the entire year kind of a success for cubing. That kind of completed my career as a, what, everything I wanted to do. That was really the big last thing that I wanted to do was win the same event, my main event, 6x6, six six, three times in a row. Apart from that, I got second in 7x7, seven seven, which was nice. It was my fourth podium in a row in the event. I got second in Thailand, first in Vegas, and Brazil, and then I got second in 7x7 seven seven in Paris. Um, fun fact, Felix won 7x7. Seven seven. That was actually the first time he'd ever won that event. And I think it was the final event he needed to win to win all his main events. Um, the last event I'm good at, 5x5, five five, I got was a little disappointing. It was the only real disappointing event. I got fourth behind Felix, Max, and Nam. They pretty much just did really well. They all got sub-50 averages, and I got a 51 low, so isn't much, too much to say there. It was just kind of the last competition I could kind of hang with the top three guys. Now they all have 46 or lower averages, and that's not really something I can compete with right now. So in terms of comp competitive results, that was pretty much the year as a whole. Other than that, though, this year for cubing was really kind of more stressful than anything else. It was the only year that cubing kind of turned into more of a job or a really competitive sport, something that I had to force myself to do. I was practicing probably three hours a day for the entire year up until Worlds, and it was the only time where I'd come home, I'd do like an hour-long session, and then I'd start doing bad, and I'd just have to keep pushing through it which is something that was pretty new and something that's kind of more like I was forcing myself to practice a lot and that was really stressful especially with the spring competitions I wasn't doing as well really as I would have hoped and seeing other people do well and being less and less sure how Worlds was going to go really just put a lot of stress on me at home and in competitions and I was definitely less than pleasant at a lot of competitions I was at just because of how anxious and nervous I was over doing well and needing to do well, especially because I can't, this was the last chance I had to win three 6x6 six six titles in a row because obviously if I lose, if I lost, then I'd have to win three new ones, which was never going to happen. So pretty much after Worlds ended, after I won 6x6, six six, pretty much all the stress just kind of like went away and it was really a big relief, but I really definitely needed a large break. I wanted cubing was so stressful for a while that I took pretty much three months off with no practicing whatsoever. Um, it was definitely, I definitely needed it. I went to some local competitions. I actually did really well at a competition in September. I tied the 7x7 world record average and got a 130 6x6 mean, which I think most people have experienced the don't try, don't get nervous, and then accidentally do well kind of thing. Um, that's pretty much what happened. So that brings me to my 2018 plans. I just re-signed with Yushin. I know I'm their only sponsoree, but I do like the stuff that we're doing together, and I really like 
their big cubes, which are my main events. So uh, we renewed our contract. We also have some cool new hardware, hopefully coming out soon. So there will hopefully be an announcement about that pretty soon. In terms of competing and practicing, I'm still going to be practicing a lot, competing a lot. I'm planning on going to at least one, one competition a month for the whole year. I actually have three in January, all with big cubes, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, that starts with uh, Vancouver Open next weekend. Um, in terms of practicing, I'm still going to be practicing a lot. I want to be able to stay competitive on a world scale, but breaking records and needing to break records isn't going to be kind of a mandatory thing. I'm just going to try and get times that I'm happy with personally. Um, also, over the summer, I'm planning on going to Nationals. I'll definitely be at Nationals, and I'm most likely going to be at Euros uh, as well. They have a super cool venue and looks really like a great competition to go to. In terms of content and YouTube and other stuff, I haven't been too active. Uh, I do have an announcement, though, that I'm bringing back Tuesday Tips, and there's a little more to it than that. I'm actually going to start live streaming Tuesday Tips on Twitch. My Twitch account is twitch.tv slash hazecubing. Um, so the plan is every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 6 or 9 p.m. Eastern, I'll be streaming, doing a live stream. I'll record the Tuesday tip in the first five to 10 minutes, and then I'll be taking Q&A about more in-depth details or clarifying questions about the Tuesday tips or pretty much just any, any helpful tips that people are asking uh, in general. I know other people have done kind of streaming before, myself included, where the quality isn't great, or it's really hard to see like what is actually going on on the cube, so it's hard to actually have meaningful help. But here is the new format I have. If you saw my 7x7 156 solve, the quality on that video is the exact same quality I'll be using to stream to Twitch. So it'll be really, it will be really easy to see the cube. Um, you can see exactly what's going on from a close to point of view angle. And I really think this will make it easy for people to be able to follow along with what I'm doing and me be able to explain my thought process and show people in a much more clear way uh, helpful tips. So I'll be streaming every Tuesday at 6 p.m. for Tuesday Tips. I have the first 20 weeks, I think, planned out. I'll be doing some more generic tips to start and then resuming with my extremely advanced tips, which are very specific, but I think really cool for everyone to watch. I'll also be answering any questions from 3x3 to 7x7 for any skill level, so feel free to watch and ask after the Tuesday tip ends. Um, also, for streaming, I have some other plans. On Sundays, I'm not every Sunday, but on some Sundays, I'm going to be doing some more fun, kind of exciting streams. So the first one I have planned is in January. I'm going to be, well, hopefully, We'll be setting the world record on the 17 by 17 cube. So Yushin just finally finished up their mass-produced version. I currently have the world record at three minute, three hours and 12, 12 minutes on this cube. But I got the mass-produced version, and it turns even better. And it's stickerless, so I'm hoping to be under three hours. Uh, this will be my first kind of fun Sunday stream, probably in mid-January. Also, I have planned to try and set the 2x2 to 7x7 world record under 5 minutes live. So, uh, things like that are kind of what I'll be doing on Sundays. Again, the stream is twitch.tv slash hazecubing. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, definitely follow along and, um, yeah. So that's pretty much everything I've planned for the new year. Um, uh, the new year starts with Vancouver Open this next weekend. and. You can follow along results, obviously, on CubeComps, and stay tuned to my YouTube and my Facebook page for any more updates.